from Epcot. Today we're coming to the Flower and Garden Festival. It's opening day here at Epcot, so we're super excited. This is our second time coming to this festival, but our first time filming it for you guys. So we're excited to eat and drink and show you what we get. So let's go. So the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival runs from February 28th until May 27th. And you can get little passport booklets that show you all the foods, old and new, and drinks and everything that you can get here. Specifically for today's video, we're gonna be showing you what $100 will get you in the festival for food and beverages. From Florida Fresh, we are gonna get the grilled warm water lobster tail and the cubanito. From Swirled Showcase, we're gonna get the strawberry basil sorbet. And then we're also gonna try the vanilla soft serve with cantaloupe liqueur. From Flor de Lis, we're gonna get the Gâteau à Crimou, Citron, Lavende, et Thyme, Campo de Fruit, de Rouge. And then from Flor de Lis, we are gonna get this one. We're not even gonna attempt to say it. We tried it the first time and it did not sound right. So we're gonna get this one right here. From Jardín de Fiestas. We're gonna get the sope and the tamale. And then we're also gonna get the two margaritas that they have that are new. They sound super good, so we're excited to try those. And then from Trowel and Trellis, we're gonna try the new raspberry and lemon herbal tea with gin. Before we get into the food, we're gonna take a look at the new merch they have for the Flower and Garden Festival this year. They'd be like, can you see the light or no? No, I can't oh. see. Well, it's on. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little flower vase. That's cute. That is cute. Cuteness, 100%. These shirts are 125. They have oranges on the side too. Yeah. So I snapped. Well, actually, that's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. This is 35. And this one is 30. Aren't you glad you met me? This one is 35. Here, has a little juicer on the top. Oh, it has, has a little holes. For your fresh orange juice. This is 25. Seventeen and forty for the big one. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that is really cool. I actually really like that one. That's pretty. That I like that pretty. a lot. I know I like this too. This is oh, ooh, it's 60. Ooh. It's a good deal. No, that's a lot. Is it a lot? Oh look, it has a little thing so you can put it to your belt. Oh, that's cool. 71. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, the salt and pepper shaker. This is $13. That's a cool shirt. <laughs> and the shirt is 35. Cute. Mm -hmm. And these little Epcot orange. Oh yeah. These are 25. Flores Hermosas. That's a cool one. That's nice, huh? Yeah. It's a 25. Stay right here. That's cool. Okay. And then we also have this little pin, this mystery pin. Limited release. Mm -hmm. And they're cute because they're flower pots. They're in flower pots. Oh, that's cute. Can you see them? Yeah. I'm gonna get this. And this is 30 for the mystery pin box. Is it orange? Plug it back in. And this is $23. Oh, that's cute. And this is 25 
and these are 88. This is 30. Oh, that's kind of a pretty keychain. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Minnie's on the front. This is 20. It's 12 or 13. This little flower pot? Yeah. Has a plug on the bottom, but yeah. Pretty, huh? That was pretty. And this is 30. And now we're gonna get into the food portion of the video. And as we show you the items that we get, we're also gonna be showing you what they cost. And beneath that is what we spent so far during the day. So this is Florida Fresh. Um, the guys up front said that they're not sure if it's gonna be open today or tomorrow. Today's the first day of the festival. So you just have to check back, see if it's open. So we made a mistake ordering these in the middle of the day when it's the hottest because they're melting really fast, but they're really good. Vanilla soft serve is super sorbet-y and light and refreshing, which is really nice and super vanilla-y. It just tastes really good, really gourmet. Cantaloupe liqueur was a nice touch. It just complemented the ice cream really well. Strawberry basil sorbet doesn't taste like basil at all. It's just strawberry sorbet. So that's okay, pretty basic, but I definitely like the vanilla soft serve with the cantaloupe liqueur. That's the win here. Alright guys, so for my tamale, I like the crema sauce that was on the tamale, but I feel like the meat and stuff inside of it was pretty dry. The sope was really okay, I think. I really like the meat. I think the meat was really tender. I don't think it'd be something that you should necessarily go out of your way to get, but I think it was good. I think it was fair. The drinks are good. When I first got this one, I didn't think there was any alcohol in it, and I stirred it up, and it was really good. I really like it. Emily's was interesting. She said all the alcohol was on the top of hers, which I... I couldn't really taste the alcohol in it, to be honest. But I think the margarita is fine for the price point. I think that's probably the highlight. Something else to note is that when we looked it up, it said it was supposed to have a chili lime rim to it. It was something that I was interested and excited to get because of the chili rim. There's no chili or rim on the cup, so a little disappointing. Just one? Yeah. Just one? My drinky drinky. It's okay. It's very bland. It needs a little bit of zest or something, like a little bit more lemon or a little bit more sweet or mint or something. It's lacking something. It's okay, but I wouldn't get it again. So because the Florida Fresh booth was closed, we had to come inside the Odyssey building, and this is where their temporary Florida Fresh booth is at right now. Okay, so we just got done with our Cubano and our lobster tail. The Cubano we thought was really dry, not very well seasoned. The meat was on the not plentiful side. It was just a pass for us, and the lobster tail was underwhelming. I thought the flavoring was a bit odd, and the meat wasn't detached from the tail, so you had to like go in there and pick it out. I, I think I'd pass on both of those. And for our dessert here at Fleur-de-Lis that we're not going to attempt to say the name of, we thought that it was okay. I thought that the pastry itself or the little bread itself was a little bit dry and lacking a flavor. The best thing on the plate for me were the berries and that's kind of sad. I would not get this again and it was a pass for us. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. Please let us know what you thought about the $100 that we spent on food today. Do you think that we got our money's worth? Do you think that you'll be getting anything that we got today? And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.